Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making some more fidgets. You guys loved my previous one, so we're doing another one today. By the way, if you aren't subscribed to my channel and if you could maybe subscribe, that would be amazing. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. First up, I'm going to be making a stress ball. For this, you will need a balloon. Now my fidgets are all going to be miniature in size, so that's why I ended up using a water balloon, but you can also use a regular balloon as well. As you can see, I'm filling up the balloon with some glitter, so I'm using like different colors and shapes. By the way, I will say that try not to use like a pointy shaped glitter, like a star or something, otherwise your balloon may pop. And the last thing you want to do is fill the balloon with a little bit of some water and you want to tie it up. This step is completely optional, but I am going to add a cute face like I always do in every single video. Uh, I tried to make this look like a lemon. I think it does look like a lemon. I mean, I tried. And here is your stress ball all completed. It's so cute and so small. For the second fidget, I'm going to be making a cookie that pops. So for this, you're going to need a googly eye. This one that I'm using is pretty big. You can use any sized googly eye that you have at home. And all you really have to do for this is decorate it however you like. I decided to do a cookie design. So I am using acrylic paint for the design. If you are scared of the paint like chipping or coming off, I just want to say that normally it doesn't unless you're like scratching it off. It doesn't really come off but if you are scared that it might come off you can always add a glaze on top like Mod Podge and yeah there's really not much explaining to do because all I'm doing is making a cute little cookie And here is the cookie all completed. For the final DIY, I'm going to be making a miniature squishy. So for this, you will need memory foam. And I basically bought a memory foam pillow from Walmart and I just like cut the pillow and that's how I got memory foam. So you can pretty much get this from Amazon, Walmart, or any place that sells pillows. Using a pen, I'm tracing out my design. I decided to make a rainbow. You can always do any design that you want. Next, using my pair of scissors, I'm going to cut out the squishy. So this is pretty like easy and self-explanatory. The one thing that I do recommend is cutting the foam in small little snips. That way you'll get like an even surface, if that makes any sense. Once you're happy with the shape, you can go in with some fabric paint and start painting your squishy. So I am using pink, yellow, and blue for the rainbow. Thank you. 
As always, I'm going to add a cute face on top. And here is the miniature squishy all completed. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be amazing. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.